Hi, this video is going for Anita. So we were looking at VLLO, that video editor we've been playing with. This is part of a series in her playlist. It's going to be on YouTube unlisted. So what we wanted to do is instead of using those motion stickers that are, as you say, cheesy, we can actually go and get our own. So you can get two types. We can get the motion stickers or the static stickers, which can be used as a um, kind of... Um, things that can go over the, the video instead of moving, they're just static. So let's have a look. We want animated transparent GIFs and we want PNGs uh, and we're going to look at those two and see how they work. Okay, so I've got my Google search box here. I'm going to type uh, animated GIF. Some people call it GIF. There's a and there's a geek battle going on about that. Tap go. So I'm going to get some search results. I'm going to go for images. It says all top images. Then in here, I'm going to wait till it loads. Sometimes it's a bit slow. You see the wheel turning in the tab at the top. That means it's going to be slow in reacting because I've got a slow connection. So I may have to move briefly just to get a slighter, faster connection. Yep. So, um, let me go for this cute character. It's waving. Hello, hello. So I'm gonna long press. <laughs> Sometimes your finger is a bit dry. Then download the image. And that's gonna go tap download again, bottom right. And that's gonna download it into your library. You can swipe across to look at other ones. We got this cute one of the pizza. No, I don't know if that's real or not. Okay. Let's have a look. We've got this crying character. We've got this flower, so long press. Download image. You're going to see from the results that some of them are actually not transparent GIFs. So I'm going to pause here for now, just for a second. In this video, we're going to be testing GIFs, stroke GIFs, and transparent PNGs following on on this series with editing and everything you want to know about editing with VLLO and taking videos from Quick into VLLO. So follow along, the list will be automatically updated into the Facebook group. So you're going to tap on the VLLO icon. At the bottom I'm going to get a project, so on the stream left, left hand side I'm going to get a project. I'll tap on that one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll around the line, timeline, ignore the content above. So what we want to look underneath is if you look at the bottom extreme left, we have audio, magic sticker, which is the cheesy things that Anita was referring to. We have TV text, which we don't want, and we have PIP, picture in picture. We're going to tap on that. That's going to pop the previous GIFs and images that there are here already, which is like that arrow if I tap on here, notice I can just hit, if I want to get rid of the arrow, I just hit the X, but I don't want to do that. So when I'm doing picture in picture, I just want to add a GIF. So here's some of the ones that I downloaded earlier. If you look at that little flower that you looked at before, you see it's got a black background, so it's not transparent. If we go again, GIF, GIF, that little character we downloaded, no, it's again fake, it's not really transparent. So then what we'll have to do is go for someone I have in the library already, so I'm going to tap on GIF again, and I'm going to tap on this one. So we just have this little Apple character, mm -hmm. I wonder what that says. Let's make it a bit bigger, tap done, go back a bit on the timeline, let me just put the volume down. I don't want to hear myself. I'm going to tap and it's going to play the rotten apple. Rotten apple. I know it's a bit cheesy but there we go. So let's test another one. So what we're going to do now is add an image. So I need to scrub through the timeline to a gap towards the end. And I'll tap image on the left hand side. And obviously I have various transparent gifs from before. So this is an eye popping guy and then tap done and then when you play along it just takes a certain amount of time if I tap on it and stretch it it's going to last longer so that's how you test GIFs, 
GIFs and transparent PNGs. There will be another tutorial added relating to making uh, your static sticker GIFs that are not transparent, transparent using some other apps. Thank you for listening and I look forward to catching you in the next video. Thank you very much.